Meghan Markle's sister has opened up about the contents of the letter she delivered to Kensington Palace as the estranged sibling desperately pleaded for the Duchess of Sussex to see their father. In the letter Samantha Markle conceded the family had said some acrimonious things clumsily but added she thought Meghan was gracious and compassionate enough to do the right thing. Ms. Markle had delivered the note to the gatekeeper at Kensington Palace in an act she described at the time as mission accomplished. The 53-year-old American, who suffers from multiple sclerosis disease, was visiting the UK when she delivered the letter whose contents have remained a mystery until now. Revealing its contents, Ms. Markle told the Mail on Sunday, I know Meghan and I know she has a kind heart. Her rift with our father makes no sense at all. The palace spin doctors have put out that Meghan feels she can't trust Dad because of all the stories that have been written about him but Meghan should know better. Because of my illness, my hands don't work so I wrote the letter on my computer in an elegant script. Meghan is into calligraphy and I wanted to send her something beautiful and from the heart. Now that she is about to become a parent herself I was hoping this letter would cut through all the misconception and explain to her the hurt and isolation the family felt. But chances Meghan will meet her sister are looking slim as the feud shows little signs of a resolution. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, As far as Meghan's sister is concerned, I am sure she will not see her for reasons that are obvious. Samantha Markle is just poisonous. As far as her father is concerned, one hopes for a resolution but one simply does not know. Another royal source told Daily Mail to Samantha is kidding herself if she thinks there is any possibility of getting together with Meghan or anyone from the royal family for that matter. Samantha Markle's letter pleaded with Meghan to meet the sister's 74-year-old father, Thomas, who is suffering with poor health. Mr. Markle could not attend the royal wedding in May due to cardiological complications after a scandal erupted when he staged photos for the paparazzi. Of the illness, Ms. Markle wrote in her letter, what is most critical here is the fact that Dad suffered a real heart attack, not just once but twice, as a result of the stress from all of the misperception, the breakdown in communication with you and his being forced to be reclusive and inactive to avoid the limelight. His attempt to avoid the tension created just the opposite he loves you very much and has made several attempts to reach out to you both privately and publicly at his fragile age of 74. I don't believe that his health can bear this isolation on a continual basis. He has been loving and self-sacrificing to you over your whole life, even raising you on his own for a significantly large part of it. She continued, you know you were not raised as an only child, contrary to public attempts at painting the picture this way, and this family is and always was supportive of you, even though we have said some unfavorable things clumsily out of self-defense and hurt feelings and only as a last resort. All of this came about upon our family quite suddenly, as you know. I want nothing from you, but your continued happiness, and the happiness of Dad. He loves you very much, and I only ask that you reach out to him before it is too late. I believe that in your heart you understand that what I'm saying is true. I also believe that you are gracious and compassionate enough to do the right thing. The letter ends concluding, I do not require a response to this letter but please communicate with Dad. Meghan Markle's brother has said he hopes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royal baby will bring his estranged family together. Thomas Markle Jr., 51 said he is thrilled that his younger sister is pregnant with her first child as he described the royal couple's announcement on Monday as bittersweet. Meghan's older half-brother, who found out the baby news through friends, revealed his sadness that he might not ever meet his new niece or nephew. The father of two said, It's a little bittersweet because of all that's been going on but I hope our family can be involved in his or her life. It is really awesome and massive congratulations to them. It's a big deal and I'm still processing the news. Mr. Markle Jr., a window fitter, also expressed his hope that his father Thomas Markle would be involved in his grandchild's life. It comes after Meghan and Prince Harry's official royal baby announcement through Kensington Palace made no mention of the Duchess' estranged father, 
instead revealing her mother Doria Ragland was very happy about the lovely news. Mr. Markle Jr. said, I'm sure my dad is extremely overjoyed and extremely happy. Meghan is the most important thing in his life, so I truly hope my dad is there to witness it and be part of it. Meghan's father Thomas Markle, who recently admitted to using cocaine in the past, is at the center of a very public feud with his daughter, the royal family's newest member, after he failed to attend her royal wedding due to health implications. And father and daughter have reportedly not spoken since then after he and several other Markle family members have given a series of explosive interviews where he has blasted his daughter and the royal family, comparing them to a cult. But the 74-year-old, who reportedly didn't receive the royal baby news directly, is said to have written Meghan a letter telling her she will be a great mum. In a sly dig to the royal family, his son Mr. Markle Jr. said it was important that Meghan and Harry's baby is in contact with family members outside of the UK. He added, I think the baby needs to know that there's family out here, not just the immediate family there in the UK. Most of all my dad should be there though. This makes him a grandfather six times over. But I'm sure this would mean a lot more to my dad than all the rest. Mr. Markle Jr. said his father absolutely has to be involved in this, adding, I hope it brings my dad back to her because I know how much it means to him and I know how he's feeling right now about the whole thing and I know he's really sad because he got pushed off to the side as well just like everybody else. It would be wonderful to see them close again, you know. It comes after Meghan's half-sister Samantha Markle said she hoped the new baby would be an opportunity to heal the rifts in the family. Kensington Palace announced on Monday Meghan and Prince Harry are expecting their first child amid their first royal tour to Australia, New Zealand, Donga, and Fiji. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to be 12 weeks pregnant, finally putting to bed rumours and speculation that have been building for months. The baby is due next spring. Meghan Markle's father Thomas has received violent death threats from a close female friend's ex-boyfriend who terrorized the female, forcing them to move to a safe house after the abuse escalated. Meghan Markle's father received death threats from the former boyfriend of one of his closest female friends. The suspect allegedly drove past Mr. Markle's house in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, and shouted, I'm going to kill you. You fat f asterisk asterisk. The suspect is reported to have also slashed Mr. Markle's turs. However, he denies the claims. Thomas Markle told the Mail on Sunday, The first time he threatened me was after I took opening bracket my friend and her daughter closing bracket for pizza and we were photographed by the paparazzi. He texted me saying, I will kick you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. I wrote back saying, you don't even know me, what's wrong with you? Why would you feel threatened by a 74-year-old man? He thought something sexual was going on between opening bracket her closing bracket and me but it's not. Opening bracket she closing bracket isn't my girlfriend. She hasn't hustled me for money. I've helped her financially so that she could get to a safe place to live with her daughter. The threats come as Thomas Markle continues to adapt to life in the public eye following his daughter's marriage to Prince Harry. The ex-boyfriend has reportedly carried out a campaign of terror against Mr. Markle's friend and her daughter. The incidents have been reported to the police as part of an eight-page document. The report reads, he grabbed me by the neck while twisting it, as if he was choking me and I have pictures of these aggressions. He spat on my face. He goes to my uncle's house, referring to Thomas Markle, and tells him that he is going to kill him because he is constantly hiding me and threatens and insults him. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, the victim said, Tom has been nothing but a supportive friend. He's been a rock for me and my daughter and I'm sorry he's been dragged into this violent and abusive situation. My daughter calls Tom uncle. He's the most genuine and kind person I know and the most stable male figure my daughter has ever known. 
my ex-boyfriend is demented. He has threatened to kill me and my daughter multiple times and has made multiple threats to Tom's life.